Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone, I'm Shafira Merul Haiza and I'm going to do a presentation titled Betadine. So, what is it function for us? Let's get to know. So, we are now in the first page. There is the definition of betadine. Betadine is a medicine for cleaning wounds caused by injuries to the skin. For example, scratches, minor step wounds, minor lacerations, abrasions, and minor burns. Betadine is an antiseptic drug which is also known as red medicine because the liquid medicine is red. Betadine contains the active ingredient povidone iodine or PVPI. Povidone iodine is an antiseptic agent used to prevent infection in wounds. This drug can also be used as a cleansing fluid before medical or surgical procedures. Not only available in external liquid form or for the skin, povidone iodine products can also be found in the form of ointments, vaginal doshas, mouthwashes, mouth sprayers, etc. And we can see in this page the molecular formula of betadine or povidone iodine, C6H9NOXXL2. And this one is the molecular structure of betadine or povidone iodine. And now we're in the second page. So how betadine works? Okay, the Food and Drug Administration or FDA has approved povidone iodine for use in non-prescription first aid antiseptic products. Povidone iodine 10% in betadine can kill all slowly infecting microorganisms release iodine on contact with skin or mucosa. Povidone iodine is an antiseptic whose way of working is to destroy bacterial cells so that the bacteria are no longer active. Povidone iodine is an active ingredient that functions to restore bacterial, viral, and fungal infections on the outer skin surface. The content of povidone iodine in betadine solution is used to inhibit the growth of bacteria and also helps in the recovery process due to infection from bacteria. The use of betadine solution must be in accordance with the information of the packaging or doctor's recommendations. Betadine the signature golden brown color that lets you know where the product has been applied and that it is working. Next, in the third page, we can see the function and uses of betadine. So, here are the function of betadine. First, helps prevent minor skin infection before they start. First line of defense to kill germs starting with the first use. Gentle on minor wounds and surrounding skin. Betadine no sting promise, which means all betadine products contain no alcohol or hydrogen peroxide, which can sting when applied. And then, great for first aid on the go or and at home. Next, the uses of betadine. Betadine is used on the skin to treat or prevent skin infection in minor cuts, scrapes, or burns. Betadine is also used in a medical setting to help prevent infection and promote healing in the skin wounds, pressure sores, or surgical incisions. Betadine, as a prevention of infection in wounds, consists of several dosage forms, namely betadine antiseptic solution in liquid form, betadine antiseptic ointment in the form of an ointment can be used on burns, abrasions, and cuts. Betadine antiseptic spray more practical because it is used by spraying it. Not only that, betadine can be used to test for chlorine in rice, where rice that is positive for chlorine bleach will show a cloudy white color after adding betadine solution. Betadine can also be used as starch tester in foods. And next, in the fourth page, there are information about amount use of betadine and the dangerous or side effect of using Betadine. So the amount use of betadine. Betadine solution generally contains the active substance povidone iodine 5 to 10 percent. Betadine solution are usually used one to two times daily as needed. Next, the dangerous or side effect of using betadine. Symptoms of overdose from swallowing betadine may include stomach pain, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, 
fever, extreme thirst, or being unable to urinate. If betadine gets in your eyes, it might irritate your eyes. Next, betadine side effect. Swelling, pain, warmth, redness, oozing, or other signs of infection. Blistering or crusting, or severe irritation, itching, or burning. So in this page, there are my opinion and my suggestions of using betadine. In my opinion, betadine solution is indeed classified as safe and can be used without a doctor's prescription. However, the dosage for using betadine must still be considered according to age and needs. And my suggestions, ask a doctor or pharmacist if betadine is safe to use if you have any medical conditions or allergies. You should not use betadine if you're allergic to it. If you use betadine to treat a complaint or wound, do not use it for more than one week. Contact your doctor if your condition doesn't improve within three days. Immediately see a doctor if you experience irritation or an allergic drug reaction after using betadine. Keep out of reach of children. If swallowed, get medical help. Discontinue if swelling, redness, pain, or irritation develop, or if condition persists or gets worse. And last, do not ever use it for your eyes. Okay, I think that's all for me explaining about betadine. Thank you so much for your attention. I hope it gives you more insight. Thank you so much. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.